YouTube. How the fuck you doing? Hey guys, Nate Shot. Today, I'm bringing a brand new video. What you're going to be watching is an update vlog because we are finally back from our crazy traveling schedule the last couple weeks. Uh, we got back from London a week ago and then we just got back from MLG Orlando uh, yesterday. And I, I was going to put out a Road Ambassador Division video, but I woke up uh, the last day of MLG Orlando. Uh, sick as a dog, and it has not gotten any better. I have the flu. I had like a bloody nose this morning. I don't want to give you guys all the like grotesque details, but I'm congested. Not feeling too well. Just wanted to give you guys sort of an update what's going on over here at the Optic House since I'm finally back. But uh, let me give you guys kind of a rundown at what happened at MLG Orlando. Um, uh, we came out of the gate hot against Unite Gaming. Uh, they are the defending MLG champions. They won packs, and uh, we ended up beating them in the first series 2-1. to one. And then Complexity beat FaZe, so we went on to play Complexity in the winner's bracket finals. And we ended up losing to them 2-0, but I don't really think the map count itself tells the whole story. Uh, all of the maps were close. We, we played them really, really well. Uh, except we just we just didn't clutch up and then we ended up losing uh, so then we had to play unite again after they beat phase and we ended up 2 owing them with this absolutely insane play on the final CTF we won the first map hard point and then we went to the CTF obviously it's a best of three so as soon as you win two maps it's it's over uh, we were up three two in the last 30 seconds of the of this capture the flag and they actually pulled ours and they were about to capture it and then the van next to the flag on standoff exploded got a two piece and I got the final kill and returned the flag with like one second left and we clutched the win uh, probably one of the most exciting matches I've played this season uh, so then we moved on to the finals to, uh, to play complexity uh, they are obviously uh, probably one of the best teams to ever play black ops 2 props to them you know I have nothing but uh, good words for them just because of how good of players they are. Uh, no matter what kind of drama we might get into or disagreements on Twitter, uh, I still have respect for how well they place. Uh, we went down 3-0. It was a best of seven. Uh, if you win four maps, the series is over. Uh, we went down 3-0. We just, I don't know what happened. We just, we just couldn't get it together. Uh, they just beat us out. And then we've, we found some life in us. We ended up beating them 250 to 88, I believe, in hardpoint. So we tied it up. Or we didn't tie it up, but we, we got a map. So the series count was 3-1. Then we went to Search and Destroy. And we uh, went up 5-0 to zero in Search and Destroy. Obviously, the rounds go to 6. And they ended up coming back, winning 6 rounds in a row to us uh, to win the map and clutch the series. And I, I, I have no words, guys. I really don't. I never really thought that a 5-0 comeback would ever happen to me. Uh, just because I just never expected to be in a situation like that. It was heartbreaking. Uh, that loss is going to haunt me for a while because I really thought we could have brought the series back if we ended up winning that map. Uh, but you, you can't dwell on your mistakes uh, it, just because it's it's going to mess with your mind. Uh, you just got to get past it and move on. So sorry to let you guys down. Uh, I, I never really expected to, to see the situation uh, crumble out like that, but you know, it is what it is. I'm gonna try and forget about it. I hope you guys do too. But that means we have a lot to look forward to in the future. Call of Duty Ghost is coming out uh, November 5th, it's very, very close to release. I think it's about 15 or 16 days. And we were talking in the hotel room after we lost the Moji Land. We ended up placing second, obviously. And we are so motivated for Call of Duty Ghosts. I, I, I've never seen Big Timer himself uh, more excited to play Call of Duty. I've never seen Jcap and Seth just want to bring home a championship. And I, I obviously, I want to win more than anything. So we are extremely excited for Call of Duty Ghosts. We are extremely motivated. And we honestly cannot wait for that game to come out. We are going to grind it out. No sleep. Just play it as much as we can. Learn the game uh, for the first event, MLG Columbus, uh, at the end of November. And uh, we're, we're stoked for it. I think you guys are going to be pleasantly surprised the work ethic that's going to go into this game. Uh, you know, I don't want to... Like, I usually wouldn't give you guys promises, but... I promise you guys, we are going to take this game 100% serious, 110% serious, and we're going to take a stab at it so that we could be the best team in the world for you guys. Optic Gaming, bring it back. I promise that's going to happen. We're going to do it, and uh, we want to do it for you guys. So thank you guys all so much for the support this weekend. 
Uh, it's absolutely unbelievable. We trended worldwide on Twitter multiple times. And honestly, you guys have no idea how much we truly do appreciate it. Uh, like I said, we like to call you guys the Green Wall to pay homage to the support that you guys give us at every event. So uh, although we didn't win, I think we played very well. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to dwell on the mistakes that we made. Uh, I Hopefully you guys don't either. So thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys enjoyed this little update. Uh, I'll get back to normal videos tomorrow and my Minecraft channel as well. You can find it in the description below, youtube.com slash NateShotMC. Uh, but thank you guys again so much for watching. And uh, YouTube, we'll see you guys later.